In this video, I'm going to explain how to develop this nice interactive bar chart from which we can see the monthly, quarterly summary, yearly summary at a click of button along with the dynamic header. So consider I have a blank sheet which has two columns, the dates column and the sale amount column. If I select all of the data sheet, insert pivot table report and a new worksheet, I will just insert a pivot table. Once I created a blank pivot table, here are the portion. So we need to break the date field on the rows area and once I drag it automatically make a three group for us. But in this case, we don't want the actual date, so we will remove this field and we will leave only the groups. And the sale field we will input on the values area. So we have almost done the chart. If I just insert pivot chart and hit OK, it gives us the chart what we want. We just need to remove header for now. We also need to remove the series and if I just right click, you will see hide x-axis field button on chart. So we will hide this button and we will hide value field button as well. Now, if we just click on the expand button, we will see the quarterly summary. And if we again click, we will see the monthly summary. But the only thing we need to increase the width of the bars. So I will click any of the bars, right click, format data series and give it something like 21% which is looking fine. Now the only thing we need to format the chart to look like this chart. So how actually we do it? The first thing we need to of the grid line, we just need to select a few of the cells and merge it. And we also need to select few of the cells and merge those as well for the chart. We just need to add a borders. And now we just need to fit the chart on the area. The next thing we need to write this dynamic header which is changing. So how actually we can write this? First thing we need to uh, do a little bit step on the pivot table. So repair layout we want in tabular form and we will off the subtotals. For now, if I just click on the negative sign, you can see this cell is blank. If I click again, this cell is blank. If we write the formula if, and if this cell equal to blank, we want that this is an error. So I will write early, and if this cell equal to blank, so if this cell equal to blank, this means this is quarterly summary and otherwise this is a monthly summary. So I will close the brackets and hit enter. Now you can see early if I just click on the plus icon quarterly and monthly. If you want you can format the header. Just choose the color you want. And the only question is how I will add my cell. So if you can simply write here my including one space, my monthly, and on the end you can write whatever you like. So for example, cells. But I will enter a space before in this case. And this is how you can develop this nice interactive bar chart in a few steps. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe the channel, like it and share it with the peoples so I can make more video for you. Thank you so much for your support.